a little thing to note about this list. It's entirely subjective and it's also in no particular order aside from the top two points. So, jo hai so hai. Theek hai na? So, if you want to disagree with me, comment kijega. And if you agree with me, be friends. Hello, my dear, dear, dear kids. How are you? Over there. I'll work on the intro later. Right now, I just want to tell you, I have spent the better part of the last two days at Karachi Eat 2020. I never thought that I would say this, but I am tired of eating food. I mean, 120 stalls. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, no, no, no. I didn't get to all of them. That, that's just crazy. But I did get to quite a few and I can safely give you a top five. Well, a top six because it was really hard to cut it down to five. Number six, Tikiani from Tikiani. This sounds very mad on paper because look, biryani is a secret dish and Karachi walong ke liye kuch zyada hai. So if you're going to put tikka in it, it has to taste good. And somehow this works. The smokiness of the tikka just plays off really well with the spiciness and the richness of the biryani. It's just amazing. It's like you have your masaledar biryani and you have your chatkharedar tikka all rolled into one. And thank God they have alu. Number five the CPEC noodles from the story. Okay, don't let the name throw you off. The only kabza that these noodles will be doing is on your taste buds because what they are is spicy peanut noodles with chicken and lots of fresh veggies. That's it. And if you love spicy noodles, then you should eat it because that's for you. But this is also a spicy noodle dish that I will talk about later. For now, enjoy this. Number four, the OG from Carby. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you should know that my heart's door is a shape and it's shaped like a burger. And that was very cheesy, no sir. But not as cheesy as this burger. Trust me, like seriously, trust me. The onion jam does make it slightly sweet, but that just enhances the beefiness of the patty. Because food bloggers are a very favorite word, hai, and that's umami. And if you have this burger, you'll know what umami is. Number three, Dirty Dogs. Now, this is the new hot kid on the block, and it's doing something I love. Hot dogs. And they're doing them really, really well, like real smoky perfection, but retaining that lovely little snap. And on top of that, they're putting some very nice toppings. So it's literally a party in your mouth. And up, what are you party? You can do the dirty Korean party or a dirty Mexican party. Either way, you can have a party. So you Definitely come. Number two, Bingsu. Now, look. You guys know I love Pingsu and you guys are mad at me sometimes because I posted so much Pingsu at one point. Kena, every other post was a Pingsu. But right now I'm not talking about a Pingsu. These guys at Karachi Eat are doing Pingsu, yes, and you can try that. But you should try their hot chocolate, which is a dream. Quite literally a dream. Like rich and chocolatey with their homemade marshmallow fluff. Like they're pani a hai. But what you should try instead of all of that, like if you don't you only have to try one thing. Try their hot cake, your hot cake. Whatever, their Korean pancakes, really crispy on the outside. And they have, they're filled with the most amazing apple pie wali filling that you will ever have. Like McDonald's ko pool jaoge, it's that good. And it's super, super, super gooey on the inside and just super delicious. You have to try them, yeah? You just have to. Number one is sweet greens. Now look, they had tacos last year and I didn't get last year chance. Nahi mila. Okay, so I had them this year and they're amazing. Okay, they've got peanuts on them with iceberg and it's just, it's, if you love crunch, you will love these tacos, oh my god. And the filling is just the most amazing spicy chicken that you will ever have and glaze. But, there's one thing that's even better than all of that. And so my favorite thing in Karachi this year and it was sweet greens get drunk in noodles. Yeah, oof, oh, my Okay, so the drunken noodles, they're basically chicken noodles with a sauce that's not too greasy but it clings to every noodle and it's spicy and they can make it even spicier. Okay, it's like it needs hundred hundred hours already, you know, this was heaven for me, like heaven. And it was just perfect with the toppings on top, it's like a little bit of crunch from the toppings and just, mm, just go eat it. 
Hi. Okay, so I'm editing this video and I just want to say give me all your feedback. This is actually quite interesting for me to do. And like it was hard because I was moving my body. I was coming out of that throughout this entire experience. But um, I'm not saying a lot. So now I'm trying to keep this nice and short. So I hope you like this video. If you're confused about what you're going to eat, 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 I hope this helps. And I hope you have a great time. Bye.